Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? Today we are in Roosevelt Island in New York City and we're gonna be testing the night features or night qualities of the Phantom 4 Professional B2. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Roosevelt Island, which is a little tiny island between Manhattan and Queens. I'll show you an aerial view on Google Maps so you can get a better understanding for people that are not local in New York City to understand where Roosevelt Island lies. Um, the 59th Street Bridge is right behind me, which is no longer called the 59th Street Bridge, it's called something else, but us New Yorkers call it the 59th Street Bridge. We have tremendous views of the city right across on my right and to my left you have queens long island city area so the old uh city bank building which is now altice the cable company and all the new infrastructure that has been built here in long island city and uh in roosevelt island i mean and the point of me coming here today is because i want to test the night qualities of the phantom four the Phantom 4 Pro P4P version 2.0. I want to test the night capabilities of this wonderful drone. Really put this one inch sensor to its test. There's been a lot of talks about the Air 2S, right? And the Mavic Pro 2 and possibly the Mavic 3. But this five year old or four year old dinosaur can still achieve amazing qualities. And it's not about the gear, it's about how you can use your gear. So. Let's put this thing up in the air and I'll give you my uh, final impressions later on uh, in the video. All right, guys, so let me show you the DJI trailer, courtesy of DJI. Downloaded this off of YouTube of the Phantom 4 Pro V2. This is showing you the capabilities 4K 60 frames a second, D20 megapixel DNG raw photo camera, one inch sensor, the obstacle avoidance, and all that. 
now let me also mention that audio is extremely important and and the audio that i recorded now from the camera did not record from the mic i recorded from the one dx camera directly so it sounds like crap don't kill me but here's my impression all right guys so we made it back um reviewing this footage here on the computer today i have to say the phantom 4 uh professional v2 is an absolute beast i mean just reviewing this nighttime footage it is insane i it, it reminds me so much of the dji inspired 2 in a smaller compact factor now of course it's not the same size as the mavic pro 2 is not as compact but this is a drone well worth in my opinion carrying in your bag when you're gonna go out and you want to capture some high quality content looking at the photos looking at the videos it is stunning it is amazing and i'm making this video in in may of 2021 and believe it or not do you know when this drone came out the phantom 4 professional v2 came out in may of 2018 that's right may 2018 so we are three years in with this drone already and it still amazes me i picked this thing up in december of 2020 i got a great deal for it and uh, don't regret it at all the battery life is just amazing i'm getting about 30 minutes in the air whether i'm doing videos or photos it's just absolutely amazing the fact that you get so much battery additionally i want to say that i feel much safer flying this drone versus my mavic pro 2 because i don't know if you guys noticed in my previous videos my mavic pro 2 i'm flying with the zip ties on the batteries yes the zip ties on the batteries because they eventually swell or are swell mid-flight and i am afraid of that thing just popping out and dropping from the sky with the phantom 4 professional v2 or any phantom 4 uh, at that the battery fits nicely tucked snugged in and um, you don't have to worry about it popping out of the air so that's something that really sold me on this drone so here it is guys this is the phantom 4 v2 and it does sport accusync and it has a one inch sensor camera and it has omnidirectional obstacle avoidance all the way around full 360 you see the obstacle avoidance you see the obstacle avoidance here in the front uh and the arms and the back on the side one of the things that i really admire of the phantom 4 pro uh when i first launched it in the air and i took it for its first flight is the power this thing can go up to 31 miles per hour and you might be saying yeah the mavic can do the same but if you ever flow and inspire you have this unique feeling on the throttle of, of thrust once you hit forward or upward on the on the throttle you get this sensation from it where it just feels like it's taking off like a bullet and the phantom 4 really gave me that same feeling as when i'm flying the inspire of power in the air and i'm able to move at any direction at top speed any minute and it is precise this thing locks in the air once you stop it and it will not move it it holds steady versus unlike a mavic which you know may bounce around with high winds or may even do that little dance in the air where it won't stay still um this actually performs better than my inspired 2 in the air where it does um stay steady in the air and the inspired kind of moves around while it's hovering all right guys so here we have the phantom 4 professional v2 from may of 2018 reviewing this or demonstrating this to you guys in may of 2021 yes three years later keep emphasizing three years because gear doesn't matter right? we're all waiting for the mavic pro 3 to come out the phantom 5 yet we still have these amazing drones available to our hands right now which will produce amazing quality and will give you the look that you essentially need whether it's for youtube or even professional um, i have used the phantom 4 already on one professional shoe and i tell you when i review the the footage quality from this drone versus my inspire they are very very close i mean of course inspire 2 is one step above and you're gonna get a uh, slightly better quality but if i didn't mention it whether it was an inspire or the phantom 4 v2 you would not see the difference the phantom 4 v2 sports accusync so you do get better transmission it is not the same accusync that you find in your mavic pro 2 or even your mavic 2s right 
you the Mavic 2 West were up to OcuSync 3 and the Mavic Pro 2 were up to OcuSync 2.0. This is just OcuSync, the standard, you know, OcuSync 1.0 if you will. So you do get great you do receive good signal. However, you do notice the difference between a Mavic Pro 2 versus this. You don't get as great distance or penetration as you would with a Mavic series. But luckily for me, a drone of this size, I always like to maintain it in line of sight, um, whether it's myself or my visual observer, and make sure that we are at the scene that we're capturing versus taking this thing miles away or feet away um, that's just my personal opinion. All right, guys, so that's it. That is my first impressions of the Phantom 4 V2. Yes, first impressions. Just received this drone in December. Really have flown it about two or three times now. And uh, wanted to give you guys a first look of this drone in 2021. Whether you think that it's worth it or not, it's totally up to you. You know, you guys decide, make that that opinion for yourselves for me this is a, a drone that's definitely going to stay in my hangar if you will because I have so many drones um, this one is, is staying in my home and I will be leveraging this a lot especially with night so there you have it guys I don't want to make this video any much longer I hope that you got something useful out of this I hope the footage impressed you as much as it impressed me and please look forward to more Phantom 4 V2 videos coming soon. I am going to go ahead and create a lot of content on this drone because I think it is worthwhile in 2021. And let me know what questions or what comments you may have down below. I'll be in there answering your questions and replying to your comments. The next thing that I'm gonna do that you should look forward to is installing No Limit Drones on the Phantom 4 V2. No Limit Drones, if you know it or not, is a software hack which eliminates a lot of the geofencing that you will experience in your normal drones. And I think this is the only high quality DJI drone you can buy off the shelf right now that you can install that and remove all those restrictions. So I look forward to that video. Let me know again the questions that you may have below and I look forward to checking you out in the next video. Thank you. Peace.